Hi and welcome to today's video. Over the last few weeks I've been designing a layer cooling fan duct for the eBay Prusa printer and um, I want to show you what I've discovered in the entire process. I'm not going to bore you going through all the different designs on Fusion 360 and stuff like that. What I have is some detailed footage of a 3D Benchy print that I did with each duct and then I want to show you kind of like just what the differences are in the duct and what difference that makes to each benchy that prints out. So what we'll do is we'll jump straight in to the first benchy and I'll explain it. So this is the first benchy and it was printed out with absolutely no layer cooling at all. And as you can see, the PLA is just melted. The overhangs aren't good. The, the hull of the boat is just horrible. The entire thing is just too hot. So this is the second benchy, and as you can see it's much better even though the front of the boat is still a bit flat and it all looks a little bit too melted still, overhangs aren't good, but you can see at the top left hand corner of the screen the shape of the duct that I designed for this one. It wasn't great, but it was much better than nothing. This is the third attempt, and as you can see by the picture in the top left, the exit hole on this one is much smaller. It did a better job at some detail, but a worse job at things like the overhangs. So, pluses and minuses for this one, back to the drawing board. The fourth fan duct I designed directed the air more at the nozzle underneath the hot end, and as you can see by this print, it made a world of difference. Everything came out so much better. The overhangs and bridging just so much nicer. I was really pleased with this one. So from them benchy prints you can see that directing the air at the actual nozzle and not just at the side of the uh, the heater block does make a lot of difference. So we had some kind of usable solution. The only problem was I didn't really like that design. I thought it looked big and bulky and pretty crappy to be honest so what i'll do is i'll switch to fusion 360 and i'll show you the design i came up with for the actual final design the one that got bolted to the printer so let's switch to that now so here we are in fusion 360 and as you can see this bluey purpley part is the bit we designed in another video um the clamp for the hot end mount had to be thrown away because I needed this extension piece putting on it so that we could actually mount the fan bracket to something. Um, it has a three millimeter hole in it, and if we go around the other side, it has an M3 nut trap in the back, so you can just use a, an M3 by 20 bolt or something, and it'll hold itself in place. The, uh, the edges are nicely chamfered so that it, it, it kind of holds its position. I'm losing control of the screen already. So basically, if this section here is too close to the hot end, you get a couple of millimeters either way to kind of like fine tune it, but you can't kind of like have it, have it up at 50 degrees or whatever it is blowing it and nothing. Um, the, the entire bracket, as all the rest of the other fan ducts, were designed for a 30 millimeter fan, but I, 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 I never populated all four of the fixing bolts. I only ever put two in. I didn't see the point in putting all four in, it just kind of adds weight to the X carriage. So I, I use this one and uh, this one to, to put the bolts in. But uh, yeah, and as you can see, it, it's a more aesthetically pleasing shape. It hangs down at 45 degrees uh, so that the fan doesn't kind of interfere with the, uh, the maximums of the X. If you're gonna use this, you will wanna mess with your X maximum because you are gonna lose a couple of millimeters on it. But that's what happens when you hang things off the side of the hot end. And the um, the exit duct at the bottom here, it's the full width of the heater block. So you get a nice spread of air. I learned that with, was it the second or the third? I think it was the second duct. I tried to make the, the gap for the exit for the the exit gap for the air smaller and that made it worse i found it was better if it was wide but really narrow so you'll notice this this is not very high but really kind of like wide and it, and it works really well so that's the design uh, the files will be on thingiverse obviously i'll put a link in the description um i'll put it on as a set as a separate build so you'll get all three parts with this one rather than having to kind of like mismatch it with the other one that's already on Thingiverse but you know it, it'll kind of work somehow so you're probably all dying to see the Benchy that was printed with this arrangement 
So let's go and take a look, shall we? And here it is. By no means do I think this is the best Benchy in the world, but if you compare it to the very first one we printed, it is a much better. The overhangs are better. The, uh, the the bridging is so much better. The entire part is just so much better. I was very pleased with this. So that's it. That final Benchy turned out much, much better than I ever expected. I was quite shocked when it uh, it looked the way it did. Um, and that that's it for this eBay printers. It, it was kind of a series, kind of not. And I, I, I don't think I can do anything more to this printer and still say it's the same printer. We've stiffened up the Y-axis, we've uh, replaced the X-axis carriage, we've fitted a custom hot end and uh, extruded to it, and now we've got a layer fan. I don't know what else I could do to it. But uh, you now know as much about layer cooling as I do. I mean, that was, what, six weeks, seven weeks of design time? in about what five and a half six minutes so if it was all a bit quick and you need to go back um you can use the youtube controls to set it to quarter speed and you can see the uh, the parts rotate really slowly and i'm sure you'll uh, be more than happy to scrutinize those prints and let me know in the comments but um i won't be showing anything more about modifications to this printer anymore and i really hope you've enjoyed kind of like this journey of modifying this printer um so that's it for now as usual please like comment and subscribe i've been steve thanks for listening